Welcome. I'm going to present our work on automated gating strategies in basophil activation test. Bühlmann's Flowcast is a highly standardized basophil activation test that can be used in allergy diagnosis. However, in its current form, it relies on manual data analysis of the data acquired at the flow cytometer. This process consists of two crucial steps. First, identifying the basophils based on the CCR3 versus the site scatter signal, and second, defining the threshold between non-activated and activated basophils based on the CD63 signal. While the latter can be very challenging for a human, it is only one line of code at a computer. However, the first part is computationally more challenging. For this reason, we tested three different approaches to optimize the identification of basophils in the flow cytometry data. First, we tested an algorithm that relies on identifying the minima and the maxima between the populations observed in the flow cytometry data. Second, we applied a, uh, applied a classic k-means clustering approach. And lastly, we tried a to train a machine learning algorithm based on random forest to identify basophils in the flow cytometry data. When we compare these approaches to the manual data analysis, we can see that there is a very low misclassification rates of basophils for the minimum maximum approach and the k-means clustering approach, usually below 3% misclassification. If we compare the final end results that are important for diagnostics, both methods are highly comparable to the manual data analysis, with R-square values well above 0.99. The same holds true for the machine learning approach. It shows a slight bias towards false positive identification of basophils, but also here the end result between the automated and the manual data analysis is highly comparable with an R-square above 0.99. In summary, Automated data analysis in the basophil activation test is highly feasible, it can save a lot of time and it will remove bias between operator and operator. Thank you for your attention.